I'm Dr. Harold Newcomb with Merck Animal Health. I'm a technical services veterinarian. Uh, and today we're going to talk about the fecal egg count reduction test. What it does is give us a picture of the level of parasitism within the group of animals. The reason that fecal egg count reduction tests are so important is because we need to check the efficacy of these dewormers and see what they're doing. Because when we think of parasites, parasites do basically three things to animals. They inhibit feed intake, they cut down on average daily gain, and they impair the immune system. There was a study done at Iowa State that said the total impact of a parasite in a calf's life could account up to $190 of value. So it's important that we do worm these animals, but it's even more critical almost that we go back and check and make sure that what we're doing actually worked. What Merck did several years ago was get a group of about 10 cattle parasitologists, leading cattle parasitologists from across the USA, and we developed this standardized way of doing the fecal egg count reduction test so we could see comparable results. What you do is you take 20 samples the day you deworm, and then 14 days later you take 20 more samples and there needs to be a 90% reduction in that egg count to have had a successful deworming. The reason 20 is the magic number because statistically it gives us the confidence to know that we've overcome any day-to-day -day variation in fecal egg shedding. So scientifically, 20 is the number that we need to take. We do it again in 14 days uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, depends on the compound that they're using. Some dewormers take longer to work than others. Example, the microcyclic lactones or avermectin compounds can take up to seven to 10 days to work whereas warmers like Safeguard, the benzimidazoles, they work almost immediately. If you go past 14 days, what you may actually be looking at is a reinfestation and not as a result of lack of efficacy of the, of the product that you used. If you're a cow-calf producer, then what you want to test is basically your calves. The reason we test the calves is basically because they are the ones that would have the least amount of immunity to the parasite, so you get the truest picture of the level of parasitism within the herd off of the calves. As a rule of thumb, six to 12 months is a very good age for this fecal egg count reduction test to be done on those calves. If you're a stalker guy, you would take your fecal samples on day zero on the day you deworm, again 14 days later, and you need to look and see if you've had that 90% reduction. If you've had it, that 90% reduction, then you've had an effective deworming. To collect your fecal samples, what you're going to need is 20 Ziploc bags. And what you want to do is take and invert the bag. And you want to get about a golf ball size sample from your freshly observed fecal pad. You reinvert the bag. Carefully express all the air from the bag and then zip it up and then you can label your bag as to what sample it is. And once you get all your samples taken, you get them put into the big, bigger Ziploc bag placed in the cooler with the ice packs. Then you take and place your sample submission form in a separate Ziploc bag and make sure that it has your name and your contact information. So the parasitologist will know where to send the information uh, or send, send your results. When you're sending your samples to the parasitologist, make sure that you're sending your pre and post samples to the same lab and the parasitologist is using a modified Wisconsin or a double Wisconsin sugar float test for the most accurate results. When you receive the results back from the parasitologist, if you haven't seen a 90% reduction in egg count or greater, then you need to go back and ask yourself some questions. Number one, was the product dosed correctly, i.e. according to the correct weight? Was it applied correctly? If those two uh, questions can be answered yes, then you might possibly have a resistance problem and you need to contact your veterinarian, your parasitologist to determine actually what's going on on your place. If you have any further questions about this, you may contact your veterinarian, your parasitologist, or your local animal health provider or Merck Animal Health representative.